I am so sorry. I'm so sorry I should have told you about Kendall. It's okay. Myrtle would have said I'm a darn fool to stay angry. You were just protecting me. Yeah, then why do I feel like a darn fool? Well, right now I know exactly why you did it, because the last thing I want to do is tell my mother that Ken... Especially on a day like today. Hey, what's that? It's from Myrtle. What an unexpected gift. I got one, too. Ladies, you know what? I'm going to get some air, and I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Thank you, Jack. Yep. Oh, you opened yours. I can't. I understand, Mom. Believe me, it took me over an hour to work up the courage. Oh, it's it's the music box that Myrtle gave you at, at Miranda's baby shower. It's, it's similar. It, she must have found another one or had this one made. Took Myrtle back to her carny days. Yeah, yeah. She knew that the carousel and its music had a special kind of magic. And she wanted to pass that along to me and Miranda. And now Gabrielle. Myrtle just gave us all a lot of magic, didn't she? Yeah. I mean, just in the way she loved us. Sometimes I think that your grandma and, and Myrtle made a secret pact before your grandma died. Because Myrtle stepped in and she never turned her back on me. Not once. No. Though I didn't make it easy. Look, Myrtle, 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 why is everybody against me? Honey, I am not against you, but I might not be back in time for the awards. What am I going to do? You will be back, and you know what? If you're not, I'll stall. Did you ever hear the expression, stall? I will stall, and they will wait for me to make my appearance. So, after losing control over a dress, I proceeded to verbally attack just everyone in Pine Valley. I wound up on my hands and knees on the bathroom floor of the ladies' room and scrounged around for the pill I dropped. Mom. But you beat it. You got over your addiction. One day at a time. Mm -hmm. And you know who was there that first day. The first day when I had to say it out loud. But what happened to you? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Yes, I do. I know that you were right, Myrtle. All of you. I am an addict. And I need help. I've pushed my husband away. And I've lost my job. And I've abused all my friends. I, I just don't even know how you can stand to look at me. I... Sweetheart, it, it was the pills that made you sick. And, and you can beat that. Look, I, I, I wouldn't blame you if you just didn't even want to hear my name anymore. Don't you ever say that. I love you just as if you were my own flesh and blood. Did you know she went on the plane with me to Betty Ford? No. It was a horrible flight. But she held my hand. She held my hand through that whole flight and for so many more times throughout the years. And now, 
How did she do it? I mean, the boutique, the boarding house, and yet she was always available whenever anyone needed her. Thank God she was. <laughs> yes. Because so many times I would have been just lost without Erica her. Erica Kane lost? Oh, don't let it get out. <laughs> she helped us through some rough times, too. My mother is extremely upset with me right now. She may never want to see me again. Oh, no, no, you bite your tongue. Erica would never hate you, not in a million years. She would if I gave her a reason. See, Myrtle, I told my mother that I'm gay. That is the reason for all this. Oh, you darling. Okay. Good heaven. You had me scared half to death. You're the best. You know my mom. She's not going to get used to it. She's not going to come around. I mean, uh, I'm like the anti-Erica. Oh. I'd be surprised if she doesn't throw me out of the house. Myrtle, will you please tell her how crazy that is? is. They, of course, they're absolutely crazy. Listen, darling, you are part of Erica's flesh and blood, and she would rather cut her heart out than lose you. She loves you, she loves you, she loves you very, very much. And she was right. Mm -hmm. She always was. <laughs> the worst time in my life. She helped me through it. Thank God for Myrtle. Mm, but she wouldn't want us focusing on the bad times. No, she definitely wouldn't. <laughs> she would bring up the happier times. Of course. <laughs> like that Thanksgiving when we all got arrested. <laughs> Why were you arrested? Uh, jaywalking and civil disobedience. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh all three of you? Well, they were about to let us off with just a warning. And then Myrtle sat down in the middle of the street and started reciting the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> and and Opal sat right beside me and sang the the uh, the Battle what? Him uh, of the uh, Battle Hymn of the Republic. Good. And I did it beautifully. Thanks. Very good. But you know, I couldn't just leave them there. Uh -huh. Oh, oh you know. Uh, all three of you come here. Oh. I think I'm ready now. Oh, no, it can't be. It, uh, it's the dress. What dress? It's the dress from the awards dinner, from that night I was telling you about. Oh, and the stain is gone. Myrtle got it out. Myrtle has...